Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvelous Design of course, we will learn how we can apply substance materials in a Marvelous Designer. So first of all, I have this model here and I have a few uh, substance um, uh, material which I have downloaded from internet and uh, you can find the resources in in the link like given in the description below you can download from there now what i need to do here is that i have to decide of what material i should put now let's create some fabrics here this uh fabric what i will do is that i will rename it to and i will rename it uh, rename it and call this uh bands Okay, and then I will add another one and this one I will, or what you can do, we, uh, because I want the same settings, the one that I'm using here, which is basically the nylon, uh, like the featherweight and all the other settings, what I, like whatever I have applied. So what I will do is that I will take this one and copy this and it will make a copy of it. Then I will rename it. And I will call this a uh, pattern. Okay. Now the fabric bands, I will change the color to something like dark or bluish. Okay. So it will look something like this. And then I will go to the pattern here and apply the pattern on the underlay. Usually you don't have to uh, apply on the under uh, the underlay because it's it won't show. Okay, so what I will do here is that I will just choose the overlay. These here. Okay, and this one as well, and the back. all this except for the bands and the color okay now simple what i need to do i just i will just press this assign material uh, like pattern to it uh, i will assign the pattern to it now once it's done i can re uh like uh deselect everything just i will simulate it so whatever is under won't show and i can pull this a little bit Outwards, just like this. So whatever is underneath will stay underneath. Okay. So now what we can do here is you can let's put it in post over so all these parts can go away here right click superimpose over and here as well right click and superimpose over okay so here in the pattern that I have created, I will go in the fab, uh, the fabric settings here, the property in the property editor, and instead of material, I will choose here substance. As soon as I will do that, it will give me the substance option. Now I can choose the substance file by clicking on this button, or I can directly choose from the internet if you have an account or if you want to buy them. But I have already downloaded, so I will just click on this button here. And let's see what do we have here. We have these three different options of the fabric. And apart from that, I have one embroidery peacock here. So I will use this one. This is quite interesting. As soon as I will select that, it will apply on my material. It's asking the file has been added to the object browser. And I will press OK. And here in the object browser it will start it will show it now here it is now i want to i would like to apply it but before that i have to go to the preset 
and I will choose the same preset here, which, uh, which I used before, nylon featherweight. Okay, and then I have to select all these again. Okay, let's select them. And simple click here, and it will apply. That's it. And this is how you can see it looks like really nice looking pattern okay now the good thing about this uh, is you can create that in substance designer and apply your own settings for example for example uh, if you wanted to create your own substance material and you don't know how to do that so i have a complete tutorial for substance painter and designer from there you can export spsr file which you can open it up here so uh, the one which we are using right now here it have some settings it can be a default or if 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 it have its own settings you can use that now in the last class we learned about the texture uh, mapping repeat or unified so it's up to you so i will keep it uh, like repeat and resolution you can make it high resolution 2k 4k totally up to you if you're using uh udem so it's better to keep it high resolution so you will get a very sharp and crisp uh like material with the uh with your uh higher higher uh, like texel density now here we have reflection parameters now uh reflection intensity is 100 right now i can reduce it and you can see that it is quite reflective just notice that here I will reduce it to zero, for example. So you can see there is no reflection on it. So I will keep it as it is, 100. Okay, and you can see that it is reflective. So this is uh, basically uh, created by the person who made this material. Okay. Now, underneath, we have uh, custom properties, random seeds. If you want to randomly distribute this. Okay. So for that purpose, you can, uh, you can choose that like you can type something like 25 or whatever value uh, you want so randomly it will be distributed okay so at this stage i'm not using uh like unified so if you will use unified then it will show you a random distribution okay so i'm choosing repeat so it won't uh, show me the random distribution so it doesn't matter if i keep it zero or whatever uh you like now there is a normal uh map on it Right now, the intensity of the normal map is around 1.5. If you want a very harsh uh, or you can say a strong intensity, you can uh, increase it and that will reflect over here. Okay. So is, that's also up to you. Now, alpha, if you're using an, an, any alpha on it, there is some alpha here to show uh, different like between the, the underneath uh, layer of it or over layer of it. So suppose if I will change it to, uh, oops. Like one or something. Or even I will increase it more. One is basically uh, the highest one. So it affects with that. I don't know what it do, but it's just like that. Now this is quite interesting. Roughness for peacock. Roughness for peacock right now is 0.5 and it's quite uh, like shiny. If you want to make it more shinier instead of uh, 0.5, maybe you can reduce it to zero. Okay. So it will become more shinier as you can see, like a metal. So it's just, I think, too much. So maybe I can make it 0.2. Or 0.3, totally up to you. Okay. You can see it has become more shiny, like metallic sort of thing. So I will keep it 0.5. Okay. Or maybe let's see 0.45, how it looks like. Yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.45 is good. So maybe something like that now roughness silk base the uh, main material here okay so that we can change it here basically it's a silk material but we are using nylon if you will use uh, silk 
it uh, like preset so it will be more uh it will look more good so now here i have silk uh base uh like uh, and if i will reduce this one to 0.2 so you can see the base material here will become more shinier okay because as lower the roughness will be it will become more uh, like uh, shinier like specular and if you will keep on increasing the roughness so it will become more and more matte and higher the value it will look like a paper okay so that's how you can do that now uh, uh, other than that we have here uh, roughness silk pattern so there is a silk pattern uh, you can see that this pattern and if you want to do make that shiny like 0.2 it will make that uh, pattern shiny. Okay, so now you can see that, but I don't want it. Otherwise, it will, it will, uh, it will get lost between all the uh, like uh, other base material in that. So now, increasing that, you can see it is more matte. So like there is a difference. If I will reduce it, so base will be uh, shiny and the uh, and the. Uh, the pattern will be shiny as well so it will lost and i won't be able to see so one have to be uh shiny and one have to be uh like rough for example if i uh, do vice versa like the base if i will make it matte okay and then the pattern i make it shiny so it will look like this so totally up to you what uh like what sort of a uh like settings you are going for now here is the background color now background color is blue i can change it to maybe black okay so it will become black and you can make it red or blue or sky blue or whatever blue you want it to be so totally up to you okay so one thing we can uh do here is if i take my avatar and hide my avatar for example okay and once it is hidden you can see that the inner part is basically not showing because it is uh, more like inside okay and if i will select all of these and then right click it here and then if i will use flip normal so uh, uh, what it will do is that it will show whatever is underneath okay so flip normal so now you can see the materials are appearing okay the color is appearing otherwise what will happen is that it will stay gray now this you can export it to any uh, 3d application and you can see all inside and outside also and you can take it to zbrush and you can work on it apply whatever you want on it and then you know some extra uh you can say uh like wrinkles or just play with it the way you want it okay so this is finally you can like you can uh like this is how you can finalize it export it to some other uh like uh application okay so in the next class we will learn how we uh, like how we can apply all the, all these materials to our uh, squid games uh track suit and then after that, we will learn how we can export it to any, exter uh, any external uh, application like ZBrush or Maya or Blender. But before exporting, we will have one class that is related to animation and, and pose animation. Okay, so 
take care guys and i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did please like it and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.